Harden. Yeah, good uh, good check of a leg kick there by Bryce Berry, and uh, a nice leg kick landed by Cody Clark right on the top of the knee. Uh, great spot. There's a teak there. Was able to knock down Bryce Berry uh, as Bryce Berry continues to come forward. Yeah, Barry was throwing a kick of his own when he ate the one kick, the front kick. And again, with the Muay Thai background, I'm sure you can expect to see kicks, but big punches being thrown to the body and head of Cody Clark. But he's uh, standing in there. But Bryce Barry is landing some huge strikes up against the cage. Cody Clark in trouble. He clinches up and finds himself taken down to the ground. And Bryce Barry now working his way to the full mount. Excellent takedown by Bryce Barry. He felt the push by Cody Clark and took him to the ground. This is a smart strategy by Bryce Barry. He did expend a lot of energy with those shots. They were big shots. Take him to the ground, take your time, and uh, get some energy there. Trying for an attempt on an arm bar there. Technique wasn't as good as he ended up being, and now Cody Clark on top. Barry finding himself on the bottom after that armbar attempt. And some elbows coming to the rib cage of Bryce Berry. And we'll see whether or not he can get out of this position, holding his opponent in side control with his knee, keeping him nice and close, holding the head down, doing a good job of jiu-jitsu defense so far. But again, anytime you're on the bottom, it's a bad look in the eyes of the judges. Yeah, being on the bottom again, uh, I, we're talking about the short amount of time, uh, one minute, 20 seconds remaining on our uh, featurefights.ca clock. And, uh, you know, that was a good start to the round by Bryce Berry, landed some big shots. It's going to make an impression. But being on the bottom like this is not going to make, uh, make those judges, it's going to give them a decision to make, as opposed to making an easy decision, which uh, would have been to stay on top the whole time. More punches coming now from Cody Clark on top of Bryce Berry. We'll see whether or not he's able to work for a submission, but these two guys are working the ground game. And again, more strikes to the body here from Clark. Big elbows coming out of the ribcage, and Bryce Berry doesn't like that. He tries to find his way up, but ends up, well, what would look like a potential guillotine, but good wrist control from Berry, holding it in, and now knees to the ribcage and knees to the thighs of the Mad Viking from the Lumberjack. Probably uh, trying to chop down the Vikings' potential as we've got just 20 seconds left here in round number one. Did you save that one for a while? Have you been saving that? No. No, it just comes natural. Big punches now to the side of Bryce Berry. Big elbows coming from Cody Clark. Less than 10 seconds left here in round number one as Bryce Berry maybe made a mistake, Jeremy, in going for the arm bar as he may have cost himself that round at the center of the cage of black and camo for Cody Clark. Black and red with the warrior trim from Bryce Berry. And again, that one hand low and the nose bleeding from Berry. We've come, that's a familiar sight to anyone watching the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. Yeah, Bryce Berry leads with his head, which is something that uh, he might want to correct in his fight stance because he has to put his hands that much more forward and they're not forward all the way. So you're just leaving it close for your opponent. In on the single leg now is Cody Clark. He pushes it up against the cage, switches to a double, nice takedown there. And again on top and inside control where he was very effective in round number one, dropping elbows to Bryce Berry right to that liver area. That it cannot feel good. And Berry scrambling to get out, but all he's done is offer up the other side of his midsection to more uh, Cody Clark elbows. Yeah, they say that body shots don't end fights. Tell that to people who've been punched in the liver. It is painful. It, it, it shuts your body down. Uh, prime example, you look at Aaron Armstrong, who was uh, a very dominant uh, lightweight fighter in the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship for the first couple of events. And when he fought and got a one punched in the liver, and that was it. And they are going to end this fight, so it must have been a tap out by Bryce Berry. So our first finish of the night due to strikes to the liver. And the mad Viking Bryce Berry does not tap. Either.